I'm going to show you how you can fix your 4100 ringer or you can lower the boom down a little more. I've noticed on the real 4100 ringer that they only uh, string the bridle twice on the sheaves and go back up to the mast. They don't go through all three or all six sheaves. So I'm going to show you how you can do that on the model. First, you want to first thing you want to do is lay the boom down and disconnect your pendants in the bridle, and then you want to add all the boom. If you have the extension kit, add all the boom sections. You don't need the jib. You don't have to dis undo the hooks. All you got to do really is let them down far enough to add the extensions. And you can tape around the string on the hook. You can pull a hook tight and then crimp it together with something like tape or clothespin or something, I don't know. But you can do it there and up here at the top. Once you get to all that done, add your boom sections. I just disconnected it from the top. I'm going to take your equalizer or bridle and just set it to the side. It doesn't matter if it gets tangled up or not because you're going to be pulling all the string off of it anyway. Already pulled the screws out and everything. Pull the boom top away from the boom. Connect all your sections. Screw that together. And then put your top back on. I'll do that real quick and then show you. Now that the boom is all connected, now you want to add your pennant lines. Should be all 40s. I think there's three sets, so there'll be four for each boom section. It's four, eight, twelve, and then these are 30 foot. I think yeah, those are 30 foot straps for your top, and then these 20 foot sections connect to the bridle. Mine should all be connected already. No. One thing I do with mine is once I disconnect them, I put the screw back in so I don't lose it, or I just put it in a bag. You know, label it. I'll connect those real quick and then... Alright, now I have all the pendants connected except for the ones on the equalizer bridle.
think it's actually supposed to have another set for this 40. But I only have two and I need four of them. I don't know where the other two went. I might be using it on the 4100 crawler. But that's alright. Next, what you want to do is, like I said, let all the string out of the drum in the back of this drum. Let it come out about five, six inches, and then you want to cut. Cut one side, like I have here. You can also do this, cut it there, and to add more string, just tie it back off. You'll have two knots. This way should work. Just cut one side off. Cut this knot off real quick so I can run it through the sheaves. Alright. I don't think the knots come out like this. I did. I restrung mine many years ago, and I can't remember if it was one continuous string and tied off with the drum, or if they tied it like that. I can't remember. But anyway, cut that line off on one side, and just pull all the string out through all the sheaves, but leave it on this top one. I'll pull all the string out real quick and then we'll come back to it. Alright, now I have all the string taken off except for this top one. It's still on that. There's all the string. Now I'll connect the pendants, connect these. And then I'll show you how to reeve it. Alright, I have a diagram of the reeving for the equalizer. This is it. You can see this is the equalizer right here. This is your the top of your mast. So they use the two outer sheaves. The middle, two middle ones are not used. So, you will use these first two right here. This one doesn't get used and this one doesn't get used. Since I already have it coming off the top of the mast, I'm going to bring it down and go over the equalizer pull all the string out
and back up to the mast and run it under the mast. Through the first sheave, the outer sheave. Then run it back down to the equalizer. Over the top. Pull some of this line. back up to the mast and then through your second sheave and then back down and you just keep doing that and then once you get it all reeved You'll come over the top of this top sheave on your mast, back down, and then you can tie it back off to the side. And then wind it all up, and you'll have a lot more string you can play with to lower it. It should help a lot. I'll read this up and then show you what it looks like when I'm done. Alright, so now I got it all reeved up. It was kind of tricky, I had to redo it after the first, the first try. When you come off the top of the mast, you go down to the middle sheave and you go over it. And from there, you go back up to the mast, under, and then over the middle one. And then you come back down to the outer sheave, go over that one, and you go back up through these middle ones over to the other side, and go back down. And you do it the opposite way you did the other side. And go back over the mast and tie it back off. You can see the knot. And I put a couple drops of glue on it and let it dry. Just so the knot wouldn't come undone. Here's all the line that I had left over. Like I said, I restrung mine a couple, many years ago. And... It had a lot of line on there, kept getting tangled, so this way you're freeing up a lot of string that you can use to lower it down. So shouldn't tangle up on the drum now. One thing that I did was I had this spare walkway from the LG 1550 and I just glued it on there.
coat it and glued it. The paint I use is Guards Red. It's uh, I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's a really, really close match. Might be just a tad darker. But I've used it to repaint the Luffing Mast on the 18,000. If you remember, the bottom sections were white. I had to get new ones a long time ago. And all they had was the red and white ones. So, as you can see, the color match is pretty much perfect. Right there is the diagram. I'll take a picture and put it in the video so you can pause the video and look at it. And now I'll boom it up. With the line being slack like it is right now, first thing you want to do is keep tension on it. What I do is, when it's like this, is I'll push down on it while I'm winding it up. You know, keep tension. Not to push too hard, just enough to keep it tight. And there's that. I'll try and raise it up. I don't think it's going to hold it. Not enough weight. Put some CC8800 weights on the back. But that's pretty much all there is to it. I'll raise it up and then show you what it looks like. Alright, so now I got it boomed up. Very tall model. But I hope you liked that video. Hope it helps. It should help a lot. This doesn't look like a lot of string, but you wrap it around that little drum a few times and it takes up a lot of space. But 
it should help a lot. And you should be able to boom it down a good amount now. Thanks for watching.